How to drop the pounds. Getting rid of that chubba chubbas. How do I lose weight? It's such a broad question, but that's what people ask when they're trying to lose weight. How do I do it? With all these diet trends, like the 80 calorie diet, or the no food after two o'clock diet, or these gluten-free diets, it's hard to say what it takes to lose weight. It's kind of confusing when people are throwing all of these, well, you should not eat carbs after five. Do not ever, I mean ever, eat watermelon. Beef goes straight to your thighs. Do not eat it, it goes straight to your thighs. You will never get a thigh gap if you eat beef. Well, I'm here to tell you that you don't need a fad diet. You don't need a special pill. You even do not need a special detox tea to lose weight. In fact, with all the people I've talked to and just observed, and even my clients who do these diet pills, these diet drinks, and these weird detox things and fad diets, are usually looking about the same. So let's cut all the and get to some facts. Fact number one, you have to be at a calorie deficit. So what does that mean? Being in a calorie deficit means you are burning more calories than what you are eating. So let's just say that in order for you to just stay the same weight that you're doing right now, you have to be at about 1900 calories. Just to stay the same, you eat 1900 calories. In order for you to lose weight, you have to be at a slight deficit of what your maintenance calories are at. So if it takes 1900 calories for you to stay the same, then 300 calories less of that will help you lose weight. So remember that everyone's body and athletic level is different than, say, Susie Mays from down the block. That's why I feel like I've been stabbed. Ah! Ah! <laughs> when my friends and clients say they're doing the 900 calorie diet that Janet Jackson did when she got her abs. I'm sorry to tell you guys, but you're not Janet Jackson, and quite frankly, no one should be only eating 900 calories a day. My left butt cheek eats 900 calories. Left butt cheek, I would die on that amount of calories and I know most other people would too. No one should be lowering their calories lower than 1200 a day. And I'll make sure to leave a link below so you can figure out how many calories is perfect for your body type and your activity level, okay? Number two, count those calories. To know that you're at a calorie deficit, you must bum 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 count your calories. It's honestly the main thing that helped me lose weight. When I first started, I told myself just, you know, go through the day like I normally do, but except I have to write down and count the calories and measure out everything that I normally would eat in my everyday life. I was eating close to 3,000 calories a day. No wonder why I was gaining weight or kind of staying the same. Many people don't think that they eat that much, but if you weren't eating that much, you wouldn't be watching this video and you would be losing weight. So just keep a food journal. Number three, workout. Okay, so facts, you don't actually need to work out to lose weight. There's many clients of mine who don't work out and lose weight because we're working on the diet. The diet is a really big part, but working out will help you lose fat, build lean muscle, and burn calories. So tip number three is just about adapting yourself to a great workout program only two to five days a week for about an hour. Not two hours, not three, not overworking your body and doing five to six hours or marathons, just an hour of something that fits your body type and your athletic level and will help you lose weight. You guys don't need to go overworking your body and burning yourself out. I only work out an hour, I keep my diet nice and clean and I tend to look like this all year. Four. Stop fad dieting. Pretty much any program that promises you a specific amount of weight loss in a specific amount of time is a freaking fad diet. Most cleanses that you see on Instagram, fad diet. Anything that completely rids your diet of a certain macronutrient like fat, carbs, or protein, fad diet. There's a reason why it's called a fad diet, people, because it won't last forever. It's a fad. Number five, staying consistent. I just can't do the last tips I just gave you for like a week and be like, uh, it's not working. You're not gonna look bikini ready in 12 days. I literally had this girl call me. She wanted training sessions for a week. And she called me and she said, do you have any special diet that I can do so that I can have abs by this Friday? You can't expect to have a complete transformation in like two weeks when you've been eating crappy food for your whole life. 
It took you time to put on the weight. It's going to take some time to take it off. Thank you so much for tuning into my channel, More Than Muscle, with me, Michelle McDaniel, where I bring you fitness, health, and weight loss tips every single Sunday. If you enjoyed this video, please share it. And if you enjoyed my channel, please subscribe, and I will see you guys next video. Hey guys, thanks for watching my video. I hope it helped you in some type of way. If you have more detailed questions, just comment in the comment section. I will make sure to answer every single one of them, either you know from comment section or in a form of a video.